What is going on guys? It is Darkstream today with another YouTube video. Not only do we have the limited time Thursday Night Football cards, which by the way, absolutely amazing two cards that we have today. I'll show you guys that in a minute, but we also have the new Color Rush promo. So it looks like you need to have two gold tokens from that team and you basically get the gold Color Rush uniform. Now I'll show you guys the Elite Color Rush uniform, which by the way, probably not worth it to do but if you take a look at these honestly they're really really cool and essentially you just want to find which ones you think are the best like honestly the bangles is a really really cool one to do just figure out which ones you like the most and i hope that we can have okay so the cowboy is actually really, really cool keep going through basically you guys know exactly how these colorish uniforms look honestly the lions is maybe my favorite one i think there's absolutely amazing panthers also a really really good one i really like the raiders as well and the seahawks with that neon green is absolutely disgusting and because it's only two gold tokens to get these it's not that bad then you take a look at the elite set which i haven't even looked at myself yet so let's see what we need to get in order to do this so you need to have a tier three dark uniform and the bears alternate okay so you also get these uniforms but they're gonna be in a t but they're gonna be looking pretty cool and also gives you the chargers times three so you're gonna get a tier three and you're also gonna have the alternate uniform now i believe to get like the tier three uniform i think it takes a couple of elite tokens i'm honestly not too sure i think it's in the power up sets let me go take a look at that real quick so uniforms will go with dark uniforms just whatever and let's go with okay so if you have a dark you need to turn in a silver token to be able to get a whatever dark uniform and then you need to get a wild card based dark uniform and then two more silver tokens and then tier two you need to put in three of the gold tokens and a tier one dark uniform and then finally for the tier three you need to put in three elite tokens so oh three elite tokens three golds and three silvers and then you have to use two more golds to get the color rush alternate which i'm not really sure why you would even do this unless you have a theme team if you have a theme team then it's probably worth it because those chemistries do boost every single stat i believe like one so if you're gonna do a theme team i guess it'd be worth it to do the color rush because the color rush uniforms are obviously really really cool but is it worth it to do that honestly mm, i'm not too sure honestly but obviously with the times three for whatever team and honestly these pictures look really really cool take a look here david johnson Jameis winston we also have andrew luck who who even knows if he's gonna be playing zeke really cool picture right there as well but color rush is in the game and of course it's gonna be kind of tough to do this i guess to get the elite version but you don't really need to do the elite just get the goals and just get it you know a home in a way i'm probably gonna try to get the cowboys one and then i'm not really sure if the cowboys is the home or the away it is light so i believe that we are home when we are light so i can get in the away one that's dark not really too sure which one i should get for the dark but i'm thinking the lines because honestly lines uniform is looking pretty dang cool now not only can you do the set for these but apparently you can spend 50,000 coins and also or five dollars and you can get yourself the uniform instead of doing the set now basically you just want to check to see the prices of how much it costs to the gold token sets in order to do it because obviously a couple of these teams are way cheaper and a couple of these teams are going to be more expensive so you honestly just got to figure out which team is expensive which team is cheaper is it going to cost you more or less than 50,000 coins so if you want to do the cowboys probably going to cost you about 50,000 coins so if you can just snipe some gold cards don't even worry about buying these off the auction block or the item thing unless you just want to spend your points on them i would definitely not spend your coins on those because most of those do not even cost 50,000 coins to do but the limited time cards today that we have are kj wright and david johnson so really excited hopefully we can pull ourselves that david johnson let's take a look here and see if we can pull him out of one of these gold player packs we have not pulled a limited time card just yet this year and hopefully we can pull at least one last year by now i think i had like two limited time card pulls now of course it doesn't help that legends aren't limited time so they're not in packs and okay so we get 81 max hunger i was a little bit scared there first card in the pack is usually some pretty good luck but we haven't had limited time cards a lot. I mean, we have had, you know, limited time Thursday Night Football, but Legends should definitely be limited edition. Also, the Team of the Week, we haven't had any Team of the Week limited time cards, which is another mistake by A. I think we should have both Legends, and also we should have the limited time 
What was I gonna say? Limited time team of the week cards in pack, which I definitely think is a good step. Last year, I think it was just, I think last year, honestly, the way they did it was pretty good with how many limited time cards we had in packs. And this year, we don't have any except for on Thursday Night Football, which they really need to fix that. I really hope they do end up fixing that and putting another limited time card out for team of the week. As we get 85 Cameron Wake, not too good point. We'll go ahead and open up one more pack, and I'm really not too sure how much that Cameron Wake goes for, but a decent pull right there, 85 roll. And let's see if we can pull ourselves a David Johnson last pack. Brian Poole and nothing. Well, it looks like someone was lucky enough to pull themselves this David Johnson. So let's take a look at this David Johnson, 91 speed. 92 agility also has a 90 excel and an 89 carrying and then we get into the good stuff 91 ball carry vision 93 of looseness 84 trucking and a 91 juke move card is definitely looking pretty good i kind of wish the carry had the 91 at least so we had an elite tier when it comes to carrying but he has elite tier speed agility ball carry vision elusiveness and juke move trucking of an 84 is honestly pretty solid he also has a strength of an 84 which is way better than the Danny tom 74 but 74 is still pretty good and 84 is just absolutely amazing catching though of an 80 definitely want to see I believe spin moves out his sleep. I think his spin move is pretty dang bad every single year, but honestly, 89 overall is not too bad for his spin move. He also has a 90 stiff arm, and he also has, let's see what else he has down here. Juke move a 91. He also has a pass block, if I can find where that is. I don't think I already passed it, and I did 65, which isn't too bad for pass blocking. Now let's see his other catching stats. Stamina of a 91. Spectacular catch of a 77. Catching traffic of a 79. Route running of an 81 is very, very good. And he also has a release, if you want to line him up outside of the receiver, of a 78, which is pretty solid. And honestly, just a very all-around good running back. This is your third down running back, or just three down back. He can play every single down. And he also has the battle-ready chemistry, which I didn't realize that he has. So that's honestly absolutely amazing. In 2016, the Cardinals ran David Johnson for 26 seven times for 157 yards and two touchdowns on 27 carries his 180 total yards led to a 33 to 21 victory over the 49ers on thursday night football now one thing i wish they kind of did was go ahead and put in some solo challenges in order for us to get some gold tokens maybe or just get one random color rush gold uniform honestly i think they should have done that maybe just like 10 solo challenges and at the end you get yourself one gold color rush uniform i'm not really too sure why they didn't do that and try to reward the grinders but that's something they should have done and then we also have kj wright now he has the unshakable chemistry 83 speed 70 strength he is a 4-3 outside linebacker so he's not gonna have good strength but he has 92 play rec with 92 blocks and 92 blocks is actually absolutely amazing 86 power move and 82 finesse move for 4-3 outside linebacker is actually extremely good also a 92 hit power he's six foot four catching of a 76 he also has an acceleration of a 87 so he's definitely a very very fast linebacker jumping of a 74 he also has what we really want to look at is going to be his zone coverage but a pursuit of a 94 which is definitely extremely good zone coverage of an 88 in a man of an 84 he also has a stamina of a 90 so he can stay on the field for a while and an injury of a 91 which doesn't really matter and he also has a spectacular catch of a 63 and a hit power of a 92 so we got some pretty dang good color rush uniforms and we also got some pretty good thursday night football limited time cards kj wright and david johnson but if you guys enjoyed the video make sure to hit the like button subscribe and comment and let me know down below which color rush uniforms you guys are gonna be going with i think i'm gonna go with the cowboys and then the lions i think that's who i'm gonna go with both those uniforms definitely look pretty dang cool but let me know what uniforms you guys are going with and what you think of the thursday night football limited time cards i'll see you guys next time